What do you do if you are trying to look up text or company names from two different sources and there are all kinds of differences in spelling, you have spaces, you have special characters and you just can't seem to find how to look up with an exact match. In this video, I'm going to help you solve this problem once and for all. There is a bonus tip at the end, but you have to watch the initial part of the video so that you can fully understand how to use that bonus tip. If you would like to practice along, you can download this Excel sample file from the link in the description box. So click on the link and download the file so you can practice along with me. What we have in this file is we have two tables. So the left table has company names with revenues and the right table has company names with profits. But the two tables came from different sources. Uh, actually, this data reflects the Fortune 500 US companies. You have uh, real revenues and real profits for those 25 top companies in US. But what I'm trying to do is look for these companies from table one and bring in the profits from table two. But the problem is in table two, I have names that are typed manually incorrectly. Uh, the person entering the names has done a very bad job, which is actually myself because I had created this sample file. So if you look at this, you see Walmart, for example, in table two is called Walmart USA. Amazon.com from table one is called Amazon. Apple is called Apple's Inc. So you know that there are all kinds of different names that are here, which when you look at it as a human, you can recognize, but it's hard for the computer or hard for Excel to do an exact match. And you cannot use XLOOKUP or VLOOKUP approximate match because that would give wrong results. So how do you solve this problem? There is help out there. There is actually an add-in that you can download. It's free to download and it's a trusted, a verified add-in. Now I have shared the link to download the add-in from the Microsoft website and uh, you will click on the download button. This add-in has been there for quite some time. It also works with Excel 2007, 2010, 13 or 2016. And for me, it also is working for Excel 365. So this one works for Excel 365 as well. There are install instructions as well, but it's very simple. Download and run the setup file and you will be able to uh, have the add-in installed in Excel. You will see this fuzzy lookup option and the add-in itself is called fuzzy lookup as well. And as soon as you click on the fuzzy lookup, it will appear here on the right side of your window. Now, the first step in using the fuzzy lookup add-in is you need a left table and a right table. So we have data here, but it's not converted into a table. So we have to convert these two tables into what Excel understands as a table. So you can either click on insert and then click on table after selecting any cell within the table or a shortcut is you press Control and L. And when you do that, you can click on OK. Make sure that the selection is correct. Click on OK. And now your first table has converted into an Excel table. And do the same for the second table. Press Control L and you click OK. And you can see the name of the table in the table design tab. And here you can see the name of the table. So it's currently called table two. We'll leave the name as it is, but if you want to change the name, you can change the name as well. So now you have the two tables available. Now you click on left table, select your left table, which will be table one. And as soon as you do that, the fuzzy lookup add-in automatically understands and it sees that there is a relationship between company name in the left table and company name in the right table. You can manually make the relationship as well, but in this case, this looks like it is fine. Now, what is important is what fuzzy lookup will do is create another table. Okay. And you can decide which columns you need from both tables in the new table. So in this case, as you can see, it shows you from table one, it has rank company name and revenues already selected all the three columns. And from table two, it has also selected company name and profits. So just for this example, I'm going to uncheck on rank because let's say we do, we are not concerned with rank. What we want to see is company names, revenues, and profits. And then there's an option to select the fuzzy lookup similarity. And I like to keep this checked and you will see in a moment why this shows you the percentage match that the add-in found between the two tables, right? By default, the similarity threshold is set to 50% or 0.5. This tells the add-in what level of similarity do you want to see between the two tables. So if 
the similarity threshold is very high, say 90 to 95 percent, the two sets of data need to be very similar. So you can leave the similarity threshold at 0.5 or 50 percent match. And then uh, what's important is you select where you want to see the results. As a best practice, I would recommend um, create the table in another sheet because this fuzzy lookup table you know is not offered by default and sometimes it does crash or creates problems so the other tip i would give you is that when you are doing this make sure that your original data is saved somewhere else as well don't directly work with your main source of data because the fuzzy lookup when um, not done correctly may cause some problems so make sure that your data is safe and you create another copy of the data and then you start working with it and also for the output uh, my recommendation is to do it on a separate table so here select the cell where you want the table to start and then we are ready to do we're ready to utilize this uh, fuzzy lookup add-in so you click on go and as soon as you click on go you can see that the new table has been created which has the columns as we selected so let me just format it a little bit um, you can see that the first two columns are from table one and then you have the two columns from table two and finally there is a similarity as well so this row first one we know that in our first table the company name was walmart with its revenue in millions and in the second table this was called walmart usa with profits of 14.8 billion and it also shows that the similarity between the two company names is about 90 percent the second one it could not find amazon.com we know in our original data table is just amazon so it it does not show any name here because our threshold is currently set at 50 percent so based on 50 percent threshold it was not able to find amazon but as you can already see that in this table that the the matches are there you you see there are no errors here all the names although they are different there are different spellings in some cases there are spaces uh, they are still all matching so the only thing left is that you have a few company names that are still not available and in this case what you can do is you can reduce the threshold so from 50 let's say we want to bring it down to 25 percent so i'm gonna bring it down to 0.25 uh, yes and before i click ok make sure that you bring your cursor back to the original cell where your table started from because fuzzy lookup doesn't know where the original table starts from so wherever you click it will uh, create the table again and that may result in overwriting your data so bring it back to the original cell and click on go and as soon as you do that now you see that even uh, the lookup fuzzy lookup has also found amazon and some other uh, names as well which were mismatched there is still one left which is uh, walgreens let's try to reduce the threshold even further and see if this works so i'm going to bring it down to actually 10 percent 0.1 click back on the top cell click go and you can see that it has even found walgreens if you have lots of data then this is something that will save you hours of work manually trying to find and and look up information now it's time for bonus tip so what you can do with this with the use of this plugin is that if this is something that happens often you have two sources of information where in one source the names that you are looking up are different from uh, the other source you know you have differences differences in spelling or there are special characters there is a comma there is extra space then in that case you can actually create a lookup table for yourself after doing this so what i can do is i can create a nice lookup table so i select on column a and column c and copy them into another sheet paste them and if i call it lookup table the next time i don't have to do this again all of these customers i already have a lookup table i'm, ma I'm mapping for so next time i can only use vlookup or xlookup into this lookup table and instead of doing the whole fuzzy logic thing and if next time in the next month i have any new customer that would be 
an addition, let's say one to two new customers or even 15 to 20, I can just come here to my lookup table and update the two columns again. So this way, the amount of time I spend on trying to look up this information will be reduced significantly. This helps if you have sales information coming from two different sets of uh, systems and then in, the, in this case you have different uh, customer names, then you can use this lookup table to quickly find what is that customer named in the other uh, lookup table and with that you can save lots of time. I do have some useful videos on the use of XLOOKUP, the use of VLOOKUP, um, converting text to numbers and numbers to text. So make sure you check out the description box below and watch those videos. I'm sure they will help you. Accounting and finance professionals and students. This channel, Learn Accounting and Finance, is all about understanding accounting and finance concepts, beginner and advanced Excel tutorials for daily use, dealing with situations you may face at work or assignments, SAP FI and CO tutorials showing you how to use SAP from a CO and FI user perspective and general office productivity, workload management and career growth tips. If any of this interests you, do not hesitate and subscribe now. Once subscribed, do not forget to press the bell to receive notifications of all new videos and updates. Remember to check out other videos on this channel as well.